In this video, we are going to learn about dependency injection, what are its advantages and how to implement it with C-sharp. Hey there everyone, it's Ravindra Devrani. Let's get started. First of all, we will talk about what is dependency. Dependency is an object or function in which another object or function depends. In this example, home controller is a dependent and I email service is dependency. Now let's talk about dependency injection. Dependency injection is a design pattern in which creation or binding of dependency are done outside the class because class should not worry about defining its own dependencies. It is a form of inversion of control, but they are not the same thing. IOC is much broader term. So let's understand it with some practical coding examples. In this example, home controller is a dependent and I email service is a dependency, but our application is not loosely coupled here because home controller is depend on both I email service and email service component. To avoid this situation, we will implement dependency injection. In this example, we are injecting I email service interface into home controller and creation and binding of I email service is getting done outside of the home controller. We are resolving our dependencies inside the program.cs class. For this, we have to write a line here, builder.services.attransient I email service, comma email service. Now home controller is only depend on I email service and our application is loosely coupled. Now let's talk about advantages of dependency injection. You do not worry about defining dependencies. Now you can focus on your main logic. Your application become loosely coupled and more testable because it's easy to create mock objects of interfaces. So that was all about dependency injection. I hope this video was helpful. If you find this video helpful, then please hit that like button. See you next time.